Hey guys, Jason Scudelari with CPP, and today we're going to be talking about rack and pinions and the proper way to extend tie rods with wider frames on Mustang 2 style front ends. So sitting in front of me is your typical Mustang 2 front end, and what we're concentrating on is the pivot points, which is from here to here, and on your typical Mustang 2 front end is 22 inches. Here we got a rack and pinion, typical rack and pinion for a Mustang 2 front end. It's gonna fit properly with tie rods. No need to worry about spacers. So what do you do when you have something that's wider with a Mustang 2 front end? So now instead of 22 from pivot to pivot, it's 24 inches. Mounts are in the same spot, but we got two, two extra inches on the one side. What do we do? Well, we can take something like this here, screw it on the end. So problem solved, not really. All I've done is extend the tie rod out another two inches. What's that gonna do? It's gonna throw the geometry off. Now, the car's gonna steer differently on one side. You're probably gonna get a bunch of bump steer out of that. How do I know? I actually took this off my F100. Why did I take this off my F100? So when I talked to my buddy Jim, I was telling him, so I'm turning one way and my, my wheels are hitting the sway bar. When I turn the other way, everything's totally fine. And it's also acting a little weird in like a bump steer situation. So I threw the truck up on the lift, looking around, noticed this on there. Hey, why do you have that on there? Told him why. He's the one that schooled me on this. And that's why I'm trying to teach people the proper way to do this. So what we do is get rid of that first of all. What we wanna do is add two inches. Well, we make these in one inch and two inch. We wanna do this before the pivot on your rack and pinion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tie rod out of the bellow, extend it out, screw the tie rod back in, and I'll walk you through that step by step. All right, we'll go ahead and cut the bands off so we can remove the boot. This one is just a clamp. The vent's right here. This is what we're gonna remove, and then that will extend it out. Again, it's before the pivot here, so the tide rod's still staying the same length. We're just extending it here. That way all your geometry stays true, no bump steer, no turning radius differences from left to right. Everything will be just fine. All right, we'll go ahead and pull this off. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad. There we go. Now we're just gonna extend it to two inches. All right, so we're gonna add a little red Loctite to this. Go ahead and screw this on. Tighten that up. And add a little Loctite here. All right, so that's how you properly extend your tie rod out two inches and keep in your geometry correct. So in some cases, depending on the manufacturer or if you've just built your own Mustang 2 front end, your mount could be over an inch here, an inch over here. So on a 24 inch pivot to pivot, you may have to add an inch on each side. That works the same too. Just gotta make sure you get your pivots right, get your steering right, keep your geometry right, and you'll be driving right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and return the boot. Make sure you get it clocked right so your vent, go, vent tube goes in, just like that. Let's go ahead and return our clamp. And on the outside, Use a tie wrap and trim it. There you go. With that all installed, I'd like to talk about some of the benefits of our rack. They're all brand new, not remanufactured. The shaft is a three quarter 36. We have dash six fittings already installed for your lines and it's two and a half turns lock to lock. So when you're ready to order parts for your classic car or truck, give us a call or visit classicperform.com.